Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I said today? I want to recreate D-Day and make it absolutely massive. Not only that, we have modern soldiers here who should be able to hold out a little bit better, but the opposition has a secret weapon. And that is 8,000 T-Rexes. It's actually all the opposition. It's, it, it's just T-Rexes versus modern soldiers, all right? The D-Day you would never expect. Now, the T-Rexes are 10 to 1 right now, so they're gonna have to kill 10 modern soldiers. And you might think that should be easy for a T-Rex, but I actually put these guys on guard, so they should use their range to their advantage and actually back up. Uh, if the enemy is getting too close. So I honestly don't know what's to be expected here. These are two new units in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I'm super excited to get back into it. This is also a whole new map, so everything is new. And uh, yes, as per usual, we're taking this game very seriously with accurate battles like this. Screw what the history books say. This is what it's all about. Now, I wonder if I can actually get <laughs> T-Rex to weld uh, a, an assault rifle. That would be very interesting, but I don't think their small little arms will actually be able to do it. There is logic to this setup. I have a first initial wave of Tyrannosaurus Rexes, and then I have an even bigger wave in the back that spreads all the way across the map. Uh, so hopefully these guys will be used as basically cannon fodder to get to the front lines uh, because they are going to have to push up very very quickly as i said these guys should back up when they get a little bit nervous it's looking like the t-rexes can indeed deal with a little bit of lead front line is still doing totally okay almost touching them actually and now we are starting to see deaths that's that was actually perfect timing uh so hopefully they can use their dead bodies as well defense we have humans flying everywhere now let's actually check out the stats looking at this uh, 6,500 T-Rexes left, so that was essentially the starting platoon is totally dead already. And now we have the modern soldiers pushing back to uh, the hills as expected, and the second wave is indeed coming in. I honestly have no idea who's going to win this. I feel like these soldiers do have the upper hand right now because, well, they do have a ranged attack. Don't get me wrong, Tyrannosaurus Rexes are disastrous up close. If they can get up close, these guys can just keep running around, though. There actually is quite a bit of map back here. Um, and yeah, they can just keep pushing back and pushing back. Humans are down to 25,000, so T-Rexes are taking the advantage here. We have T-Rex Hill over here. What the hell is going on, guys? Keep moving ahead. We have to keep going. And it looks like, yes, the majority of the fighting has made its way to the mountainsides now. And this is where the humans might get the upper hand once again if they can hold these choke points. Uh, but yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a struggle to hold, hold choke points when you're trying to deal with massive prehistoric creatures. Actually, it looks like the humans are holding out very, very well over here. Killed everything around them. So interesting to see this. I didn't expect them to be on the beach. Uh, we have a few Tyrannosaurus Rexes kind of just dancing with humans over here but yeah all of them are actually dead over here so i think this will be the final fight because humans are definitely going to win this little battle but now the tyrannosaurus rexes have the upper guy look at this poor guy running away from like 10 of them but yeah this is what i'm talking about they're going to be able to hold out shoot for a little bit before they actually die uh and that's giving them the advantage they're just kind of kiting these guys around like crazy right now and spreading them out which is a good thing for the humans I think my money at this point would be on the T-Rexes. There is still way more humans than T-Rexes, but it's just that big zerg of them on the beach, it looks like, and a few that are still running around in the forest up here. All right, it seems like they're doing their celebratory dance now. I'm not really sure what is going on. I think they're trying to figure out where the rest of the humans are, and I think we are headed to the beach for the final fight. So it looks like the final few that were up in the mountainside indeed did die. And front lines have made their way to the humans, but they are going to take a lot of damage. There's a lot of open space here, and they do have a long shot. Uh, these guys are now <laughs> climbing up the mountain, but also pushing back to the mountain. So this will definitely likely be a choke point for the final battle. And that is one horrifying sight to see. We have some going down to the beach just because this is such a choke point. This will actually be smart. Uh, yeah, we got a lot going down the mountainside here to deal with these guys that are now shooting up towards the enemy i'm not sure if there's still some over here i think there is some that are yeah these there's still quite a few humans these guys are still on guard so we still have to make our way over to them for the actual final battle uh it's looking like the t-rexes are definitely going to win this battle if they can make their way down the mountainside here we are having heavy losses trying to get down to them though 
Uh, this choke point might actually be the death of the T-Rexes because only one or two can go in at a time. And as you can see, they can't withstand the amount of bullets that are going into them right now. But we have reinforcements coming from the side. Didn't even see them. Uh, so I think they'll be okay. Oh, yeah. These guys are just flying everywhere now. T-Rexes have taken out this platoon. Uh, we got a few guys left, but yeah, they are not going to last very long. Ooh, we got reinforcements coming in. Did they finally uh, get off of guard? Looks like some of them are slowly coming in. So we're going to have a lot of small battles going on. This is actually really cool. All right, there's going to be an absolute bloodbath on the beach. They are just, they keep moving backwards. They have so much space too. I'm actually nervous. It's going to be so slow to kill these guys with how spread out they are. The benefit of the T-Rex is if they are uh, within range of a lot of them, they can kill multiple at the same time. They're going to have to kill one at a time, basically, this whole time if these guys keep backing up. All right, they're kind of getting uh, sandwiched in now. We got some reinforcements from this side. Uh, not much over here besides death, but yeah, as you can see, I don't know why these guys are not moving now. This is going to be the death of them, I think. There is a lot dying right now due to these T-Rexes that are just chomping them everywhere. I think they might actually have it. Well, this has to be horrifying, buddy. You just watched 80,000 of your friends die, and they are very close to you. There's a few guys way in the back. Uh, but yeah, it's looking like, I think... My homeboys, the T-Rexes, indeed have won this thing. Let's actually look at the stats. Yeah, we're down to 200 humans. Uh, T-Rexes, it was a close fight. A lot closer than expected. So yeah, screw your history books. This is how D-Day was in fact won. <laughs> Do not believe everything. Yes, this is exactly how it happened. Ah, uh, yeah, there's still a few left, but I think we know who's clearly going to win this. <laughs> All right, no joke. The campaign actually impressed me in this game. So let's try out level two. I think this is a stealth mission. We are attacking the chickens once again uh, with a few men. But we have to be very careful because as you can see, we didn't have many. And this is where the majority of our men are. So if we can release them, I think we can take back this place. Okay, this is a true stealth mission. I didn't actually think I had this few of units. I have 20 units now. I'm actually worried about crossing the bridge. I'm wondering if going through the water would be the better idea. At least I can kind of look around and strategize. I need to go inside the gate, actually. Do we have an opening in the back? No. I thought this was kind of like a secret. Okay, so we do have an opening here with way too many chickens. Taking the coastline would be difficult. I might be able to sneak through around here, though. We definitely don't want to go this way. The big mama's over here. Unless I could go around her. Hold on. There's another bridge over here. Oh, damn invisible walls. All right. I think this is my secret entrance. I think this is the best option. We have a broken fence right here, right beside Big Mama. But I know her attack range is not that wide. So I think my best bet, if we can survive this, is to go towards the bridge and see if we can stealth around the other teams. And then we can hopefully take it back once we get the rest of my team out. Uh, I really can't lose any of these units, though. Mind you, chickens, or sorry, ducks, <laughs> are not that hard to kill. All right, so that was definitely the smart play. Uh, average health is still 100%, and we didn't lose one unit there. So we're going to head across the bridge here. We'll go wide around the mama. Uh, is there anybody else over here? No, this is actually great. So yeah, this is definitely the way to go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh where, where the hell did these guys come from? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh, no, 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 no. All right. As long as mom doesn't see, we are fine. They, were, were they in the homes? <laughs> I was like, where are my guys? Why are they not coming? And these guys were shooting me. Okay. Crisis averted. We're fine. Still have 20 units. All right. So for whatever reason, even if the invisible wall is in here, this is as far as I can go. So is this out of the chicken's range? Oh, God. Okay, we do got some chickens over here that I didn't see, but I'm not too scared about small teams. That Wait, what? Oh, my God, there's ostriches? I didn't know there was ostriches. I, should, I, I don't know. I should be scared. I mean, that's obviously stronger than a duck. Do these guys have good sight? No, I think we're okay if we keep going this way. All right, now we have one more team of ostriches. Thankfully, I don't think their radius is that strong. Oh, uh, I might have to fight this team, though. I think it'll be worth it. We're basically there. Okay, yep. 
It's fight time. Oh, please, please. <laughs> what a battle. <laughs> Ostriches. I still have 20, so yeah, they don't have much defense birds. Did I just do a perfect run? I mean, I did take some damage, but did I? Because my average health is still 100%. I mean, it's good. It's a good thing we have shields. So we have the final battle here with more ostriches. This will be our biggest battle, but I'm not too worried about it because they haven't killed one of us yet. Didn't expect ostriches to be teaming with the uh, chickens. I'm a little worried. I mean, technically a T-Rex can possibly be working with the chickens as well. They are descendants after all. Um, so I don't know what else is to be expected. I'm gonna have to pull this lever, I think, probably. Yep, okay, there we go. What the hell? Did you guys climb on the top? You're not supposed to do that. All right, so now we have everything. Get at least half the prisoners to safely across the river. All right, so goal now is, well, we're gonna have to battle with this many units. I'm thinking, I don't know if we can swim. I kind of wish I tried. I feel like these teams over here are very small, as you can see. We do have actually a bridge way over here. That might be a good option. All right, regardless, we have 917 units, so I need at least around 500. I'm gonna head this way. I think I wanna avoid Mama because Mama will kill a lot of us. All right, these guys are way faster too. I was wondering why I was running so fast compared to a normal unit. I don't know what's going on with them, but they are way faster. All right, I don't know if I should try and just attack these guys or not. That's obviously a huge team of battle ducks. Um, I think I'm gonna try and ride this fence. We have pretty much everybody out now. We'll definitely have to fight this team. As long as the ostriches and everything don't get, get into this, we should be okay with just this small battle. So I'm going to ride the fence as much as I can. All right. So yeah, it's looking like we're going in. Just attack them, everybody. Attack them. As long as... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is what I didn't want. Okay. Spread out. Use those shields. We're, we are going to war. Oh, my God. I just brought them in too. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. I can't lose half my team. This is a lot of small battles going on all at once. Oh my God, I just brought everybody. I'm done, man. I'm screwed. I'm done, man. I'm already at 470 troops remaining. Yep. Okay. Well, I thought this was gonna be an easy run. It is no longer easy. The hard part's gonna be transferring all these guys. All right, so try number two. Let's just retrace our steps, maybe. I might need to spread out these guys quite a bit, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we, we were able to stealth all the way here besides killing the few teams that saw us. Why not try and go back the exact same way? So far, so good. I thought maybe because it's a bigger team, my uh, sound radius would be stronger, which seems to be the case because those ostriches did attack us. Uh, we're also just way more spread out, as you can see, so I'm not being as cautious as maybe I should. I could obviously split these guys up quite a bit, but... I don't know. We might even be able to take on the mama if she does see us. I don't think there's much else for us to deal with besides her. We just got to get a, a, across that bridge. Oh, interesting. I don't think I can go as far as I once did over. I think it's forcing me to do this fight because uh, this is... A, watch, whenever I go hot f further, they stop. So there's like a wall there. Oh, yep. I Because I think I was way further over, wasn't I? I don't know if I'm going to be able to stealth the, the freaking boss. All right, so what I'm going to do is set up. So if we do need to attack, we will attack from all sides. Uh, I'm going to put some team there. I don't want to go any closer than that because I don't want to pull her, but I think I probably will with this amount of team. I actually wonder. I, I have an idea here. I'm going to sacrifice one man just to see. Actually, let's try and find one of my fast guys. Oh, damn it. Unfortunately, I didn't see this wall here. I was going to try and pull the mother away from this area with just two men and then run to the bridge. It might still work. Hold on. Let's see if I can maybe... <laughs> this is probably going to ruin my run, but that's okay. Let's see if I can pull her. Hello? Oh, God. I didn't see those guys there. All right. Hold on. Let's see if we can pull her. Come on. Yep. There you go. Run. Run. This is why I grabbed two. Run, brother. Come on. No? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, run! <laughs> run! <laughs> run! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, keep keep going this way. Oh, this is bad. This is probably a bad idea. And go! Go! Everybody run! Run as fast as you can! It's working! It's working! She's busy! Oh god, she's coming back! She's coming back! Bad timing! Keep running! Keep running! 
She can't take us all. Just go. Just beeline it. <laughs> if this works, it's going to be the greatest. I, I'm sure people want to see the battle, but I just want to see if this works now. I'm morbidly curious. I mean, she can only kill so many of us. Oh, my God. The ostriches are in here, too. Oh, dude. Maybe we should fight. Fight. Screw it. We're fighting now. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I probably could have done it there. I should have just fought her. I feel like I could definitely kill her. This is a good test to see how many units die killing her as well as this massive team because we didn't actually need to deal with this team all right and we got defeated surprise surprise i think we actually might be able to take her on though without these guys shooting me like crazy that was a dumb idea I, it, it might have worked if i kept running i don't know okay i got them all over here again i think i'm gonna go i'm debating between stealth and battle but i can't flip flop like i did last time so i think i'm gonna try and battle this time i have my fast boys over here uh i'm gonna see kind of how close we can comfortably get i would like to spread these guys out a little bit so we can get behind them as i said we actually might be able to hold on let's try and sneak across first with some small platoons of teams i might be able to fully stealth this if i can that'd be great but i'd also like to set up if this uh, chicken does attack me. I'll be re ready to actually battle and see if we can go that way. So I'm going to try and do small teams like this and see if we can go around. Uh, we'll do slightly bigger teams, but we'll keep them somewhat small just to see if we can fully stealth this because it would be a lot easier to fully stealth than try and battle this thing because in the first episode, we battled this and it took out probably, I don't know, 600 or so. And obviously we can't have that many loss. So yeah, I can go as far as this to the wall. Oh, it looks like actually it expands out over here. It's weird. It's hard to see. But yeah, there's definitely a wall here. And if I keep doing teams like this, I think we'll be okay. I think I can actually stealth it. All right. I think it's safe to say we got this. I'm sorry if it's anticlimactic, but I'm excited. Uh, I got the majority over here. So I'm going to start hopefully shipping them off and getting them over to this side of the actual bridge. Uh, cause yeah, we got the vast majority over here. So just in case I do get caught again, the goal is to get 50%. So there's way more than 50% right here. I think we got it. We'll get the final few across. I actually, oh my God, I broke units. So that invisible wall, uh, these units are actually stuck behind it. Probably cause I had two big teams literally touching the wall and they kind of just got pushed beyond the wall. Uh, so thankfully not a lot of them got stuck cause... It's looking like the majority of these guys seem to be broken. Fantastic. Same thing for these guys, actually, which is, explains why I'm having troubles getting these guys out. Oh, God, please tell me there's enough over here. I'm going to be so mad if I die due to a bug. I feel like this is not the intended way to do this level. <laughs> You're probably supposed to kill the boss, but I did it stealth-like, damn it. And there we go. Get half the prisoners across the bridge. I had a lot to spare as well took me 20 minutes of essentially just slowly moving troops but hey only eight loss that's a complete success in my books all right and that ends off the level two of the only campaign so i do really like the campaigns the rts in this game is actually fantastic uh so yeah i had a fun time checking out ultimate epic battle simulator again let me know if you guys want to see more because i actually didn't show you a lot of the new updates we have a whole new map uh some other things to enjoy as well so yeah if you guys want to see more let me know in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.